Dennis. I'm in. And we are the Crappy Lumberjacks. Welcome to our hallway. This is it. We usually like to do something really big with a big impact. Last year we did a Twin Peaks hallway, which was awesome. This year we're kind of doing something a little different. We're, we don't really have a clear vision. Yeah, we're just kind of freestyling it, but we're thinking of kind of just covering the walls, making it kind of look like a forest, or just like just give it some texture. texture, maybe branches. Who knows? We're just going to kind of take it as we go. Yeah, just, get creative and you know. crafty, and uh, hopefully it works out for the best. So it's been a few days. Yes. Uh, we had to take a break from this because of work and life. And we just kind of weren't feeling it as we were putting it up. And we were like, okay, let's just take a break and come back. Yes. And I think we were focusing on the wrong things. We were trying to outdo ourselves from last year's Red Room hallway. And I don't think that's ever good to kind of have a creative process. Like, you should always start from scratch. Don't try to outdo someone. Don't try to outdo other projects. Don't try to outdo yourself. Yes. Just... Do what you want and what feels right. Yes. So I think we're going to tear this all down, save it for another project, start from scratch, and we're thinking about going a more minimal direction. Okay, let's like get this out. I know, I'm sick of looking at it. My God. Sick of it's already falling apart. Ugh. So everything's down. Now the new plan is uh, creating something inspired by Martha Stewart. Yes, we saw this old uh, Martha Stewart video where they made these uh, skeletal creatures out of wire and chicken wire. And yes. basically you uh, make the frame out of the wire and then cover with the chicken wire and then decoupage um, some Tissue Mod Podge. paper and uh, cheesecloth. So let's thank you, Auntie Martha. We love you. <laughs> let's see how it goes. All right, so I'm making the skull, trying to. So I'm starting out with the ball. And now I'm going to add, I think, a jaw. And you connect everything with a floral wire, which is pretty easy. I doubled it up because it wasn't seeming strong enough. And that seemed to really help. And I'm just trying to build a structure of a rib cage using the wire and a staple gun, just kind of wrapping it all together, not being too careful, not measuring it out really accurately. So I'm just wrapping the tissue paper around the wire here, kind of creating a spooky effect, um, and just hoping for the best. Here it is, it's looking pretty gnarly. We added arms, we did the same technique with the wire and then wrapping it with tissue paper. We also covered any other exposed part on the dowel or any of the wires. Um, and it's looking awesome. It we is. also made hands, we gotta get those on. Here's our skull, it's all done. Now, it was basically me just trying to uh, figure out how the wire would manipulate well. I really don't have a lot of tips. It took a lot of time and I do have a lot of cuts on my hand. All over. Now we're just gonna decoupage this with a little bit of cheesecloth and some Mod Podge and then I think we're gonna layer on some tissue paper, kind of rip it up, make it, I don't know. All nasty gross. <laughs> Day two. It is taking us a lot longer than we thought, but we are- Much longer than we thought. I'm into it. It's pretty fun. Yeah, it's I looking like pretty it. gnarly. Yes. And now that this is all dry, we're going to cut open the eye sockets, the nose, and the mouth, and then we're gonna start layering um, ripped pieces of tissue paper with Mod Podge right on top to create a skin. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we cut the dowel down to size and now we're adding some LED strip lights to the inside of the rib cage and they're gonna feed into the skull. And now we're just gonna staple it into the ceiling. Don't tell our super. Time to attach the head. We hung up the arms with some fishing wire just because the hands were pretty heavy. We attached them with just a little bit of floor wire and then some fishing line. For the head, we made a neck with uh, just some chicken wire and it's the dowel's gonna fit right in so we shouldn't have a problem. I'm not even gonna attach it to the body really. It's just gonna slide right in. I make Andrew do all the, the high stuff. He's hung. <laughs> uh, we're just adding the lights into the skull. We're gonna continue dressing him up and dressing up the hallway using this black fabric we got from the fabric store. And we're almost done. Almost. It took forever, Yes. but the important thing is, is that we really, really love them. Yes, and I had a good time making it. It was actually yeah. a really fun, creative project. Uh, I would really recommend it. Thank you, Martha. <laughs> yes, thank you, Martha. We'll leave a link below yeah. if you want to check out her video. Um, and now the next question is, where are we going to store this guy after Halloween? We'll see you soon. Great. Happy Halloween. Bye. Bye. -bye.